What's up guys, my name is Adam and this is Broke Man Finance. If you're new to the channel, if this is your first time stopping by, we have a mixture of quick takes where we just hit you with the high points and we mix it up with other videos with some more in-depth information regarding companies, stocks, that kind of thing. In today's quick take video, we are going to talk about Shamoth Polyhapatias, I love saying his name. We are going to talk about his biggest climate change investment to date. We are going to go over and hit you with the high highlights and high points on uh, the EV company that he's completely bullish on and the SPAC that's going to be taking place. This merger is supposed to be taking place in the first half of 2021. If you have been around investing for any length of time, then you will probably recognize the name Shamath Polyhapatia. There it is again. He is a former Facebook executive, the founder and CEO of Social Capital, owner of the Golden State Warriors, chairman of Virgin Galactic, and a billionaire who many call this generation's Warren Buffett. That's a uh, pretty good start. Something tells me, something tells me this guy's going places. He has had enormous success of making good calls in the market. I think. Over the last decade, every year his calls are up. He's up like 30%. That's why a lot of people compare him to Warren Buffett. And if the guy ever started an ETF, it would sell off the shelf. No question. He is highly invested. And I mean, he's a, he's a billionaire. So he is, and he is highly invested in just these industry disruptors that he thinks is going to change uh, the way we do things in the future. So when Polly Hapatia starts talking EVs, I listen. There's no question. There's no question the guy is much smarter than I will ever be, but I am smart enough to know that. He has invested into an EV company and led the way in with investors to make this happen. Uh, but he is invested into a this EV company that will be merging with a SPAC, SPAC standing for uh, Special Purpose Acquisition Company, if you're unfamiliar. And that SPAC is Arc Light Clean Transition, ticker symbol ACTC. It is a, what they call a blank check company. The EV company that we are talking about is Proterra, who will be trading under PTRA once the merger is complete. Proterra is a leader in the design and manufacture of zero emission electric transit vehicles and EV technology solutions for commercial applications. Proterra is a three-headed EV monster. They are focused on uh, power, transit, and energy, but they're mostly known for their electric buses. There were several reasons why Polyhapatia was so bullish on Proterra, so much so that he, he tweeted out a one-page, very succinct thesis on why he's investing so heavily in the company. And after reading through it, well, it made sense. Here's the thesis that he tweeted out. I'm not gonna read everything word for word. I'm just gonna hit you with some of the highlights. But in 2019, Americans Americans, just our country, took 9.9 .9 billion trips on public transportation. There is increasing demand for sustainable transportation solutions by governments and individuals. 15 states are targeting 100% zero emissions from medium and heavy duty trucks by 2050. Proterra is North America's number one electric vehicle bus OEM. Proterra is operational in 120 communities in 43 states and provinces that represents more than 30% of the North American transit bus fleet. They have 1,000 plus vehicles sold, representing 50% of the market share. Hopefully you can see this because it is going to be, I took, this off of, I took this off of Twitter so it may not be the clearest, but in 2020 they're expecting a revenue of around 193 million and by 2025 they're expecting around 2.56 billion. Currently they have 750 million in orders and backlogs. So there you have it, straight from Pali Hapatia himself. It's like he did his own little quick take for us like I'm trying to do for you now. He made it very clear, hit the, hit the highlights and made it easy to understand why he invested like he did. And if you like, if you enjoy reading 10Ks and 10Qs and looking at investor presentations like I do, I like to nerd out, out on that stuff, I'm sure you can keep on digging and find even more information out. But for the majority of us retail investors, that was perfect. Currently, Arc Light Clean is trading for $26.86 at the time of this filming. That is up over 116% since the news of the merger and Polyhapatia leading the way. Back then, beforehand, it was trading for around 12 bucks. And I fully expect this thing to keep marching up for a little while, especially as you all are probably well aware of now, 
we've seen numerous, numerous SPACs continue to march upward until that merger date. And sometimes things come tumbling down. Look at Hylion, Nikola, some of these other ones that's they get a little bit of hype behind them and then they drop and, and then they start to settle off a little bit. I still think this is low enough to start getting in on that hype level and this thing will probably keep on uh, catching steam uh, up until that merger date. It's, the closer it gets to that actual merger date, I would be very leery around that date and would wait for kind of a correction in there and for it to drop before I would get in. But right now, I think it's a perfect opportunity to start jumping in. It's at uh, 26 bucks right now. I could see this thing in the next month or so, maybe even sooner, being well over $40 a share. But that's all I have for this quick take. Please, by all means, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you bullish on it? Are you bearish on it? What do you think of uh, Polyhopatia in general? I've heard good and bad things about him. Uh, if you're a first timer, make sure you subscribe. I hope everybody takes that little thumbs up button at the top and makes it blue by liking the video. As always, I hope your stocks stay green. I hope you stay safe and I hope everyone out there takes care.